What would you charge for her for this? I charge girl? 65 on everything. I only do dogs under 15 okay. pounds. Because I only do small dogs and I don't do anybody with super heavy coats anymore. The type of hair that she has, I'm gonna do a pre-bath brush out and knock out some of it. She's had a fluffy tail. I hope it's he knows girl. she's gonna have a rat tail when she's done. And for her, because she's a little pink skinned dog, I'm not going against the grain. I'm gonna go with the grain on her. With a 10? Yeah, yeah, especially since I don't know her. If she would be sensitive or... And because she's got a little short muzzle, I am going to go keep my line further back. Okay, try to make it look like her muzzle's longer. Mm -hmm. I'll come back in after the bath and go back over all the clipper work. Mm -hmm. This I is kind of knocking it off? Yeah, I don't want to blow dry all this. It comes out better sometimes if you can do a little before and a little after. I'm doing her ears with a 10, where I did the Bedlingtons with a 40. Her ear itself isn't as long as a Bedlingtons, is it? Mm-mm. She's going to have little short ears. Yeah. I'm going to leave her tassel a little higher because of that. Mm -hmm. So she can have a bigger tassel. So I'm doing all this oh. with a 10 on her. I'm not going to go any closer than a 10. Mm -hmm. You have a floppy little tail. <laughs> So we're going to bring her into a Bedlington head. It's okay. I should do this with big Gus. Hmm. Oh my. That would be adorable. Wouldn't it? And, and even the body and everything. That would be so cute. You oh, should. I should definitely. You've got a hairy dog to practice anything with. I do. He's he can have as much coat as you know. I can grow it out a little if I need it here and there. Or, but he, uh, yeah, I should do that. And my husband, if he's watching, he's like, "Are you out of your mind?" People <laughs> think that until they see it. It's so cute in person, and then it's like, "Oh, that's adorable." Yes. When I used to have my toy poodle in this trim, yes. everybody wanted it. Oh, I bet. They're like, do my dog that way. And then the husband would see it and they're like, what'd you do to my dog? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this is looking cute. Hold still. You're a cute little dog. I like you yeah. very She's much. She's very nice. So we're going to keep the overhang here. That's cute. Mm -hmm. They're going to love it. So I'm going to use a three and three quarter blade. Just create these slab sides with this because her hair is very thin under there. Looks like she's had knee surgery. So I'm just creating this slab side with the blade. Did you say you're using a five? Uh, or, three and three oh, quarters. Three, oh, okay. So it's pretty, it's got some length. Mm-hmm. I'm just carving down the sides of the neck. If I were using a clipper vac, I'd probably go with a 5 8 HT. Because mm, okay. it would pull it down to about the same length. Yeah. So I'm taking some shortcuts here. I'm cutting in her angulation with the blade as much as I can. Mm -hmm. There's some mats in there. Taking this back down with the blade. So we're getting our drop off here. So with this one, we can do some of the shortcuts. Yeah. That you can do with your regular Bedlington too. So in here, I'm gonna set behind her shoulders with the blade. Especially since she has a straight top line, we're trying to create a fake arch. Just knocking off as much as I can before the bath. And people are always like, you use your good scissors to cut dirty hair? I'm like, yes, yeah. I do. <laughs> Yeah, they're sharp. <laughs> I use whichever scissors are sharp for the day. When I have mats like this, I unlock the mat by cutting into the mat. Hi, say Mary. hi. Hi. 
Good girl. So I'm unlocking it by cutting that little top part off the mat. And that'll make it easier mm -hmm. to brush out. I'm just gonna use my trusty Le Pooch do matting brush. <laughs> I won't hurt you. No. I won't hurt you, baby. I think you might have a new best friend. I think so. Excuse she seems quite Excuse comfortable. Me. Other than saying nobody likes to be dematted. We're not going to judge you on that, honey. No, nobody likes it. Nobody does. Well, you did take a lot of hair off before the bath. these out I'm just gonna cut them off smart she appreciates that too yeah because this is a tender area yeah and if you can get away with cutting out mats go for it the dog doesn't mind it she doesn't have to be as technically correct as the other one we don't have to have that dark sharp oh. point down in the front and all that yeah so we can get away with this got some mats under here I'm just gonna cut those out it's okay, honey. Good girl. So even though I'm using a five, her hair so thin, it yeah, it, comes it, out super it's short. Still, yeah. She does have a sparse coat. She has a coat much like a bedlington. She it's, really does. Yeah, it's weird. <laughs> that could be how she ended up in this room. Yeah. Cute. I'm just taking that out there with the five. That's where you're doing it, do the tuck up? Mm hmm. Take shortcuts wherever we can. Yeah. It is pet grooming. All right. I'm going to do all this before I do the comb through and spraying on any conditioner. Are you still using the five? This is the three and three quarters. Oh, same that we use when the pre clip. I'm going to go over all this again. I just want to knock it back down a little bit more. and try to cut out some of these mats. Stop. Okay, girly. You can no, stay over there. I'm coming back this way. They're going to go away. No more mats. Yeah, you'll feel much better. So when I do it this way, if I've got mats in the way, I'm going back over this clipper work a little, and I'm going to go in with the scissors where she has these mats. And I'm gonna scissor off the top of them again before I go to brush it out some more. And that way, and I'm gonna cut off a little extra. Turn her. When I go to do the final brush through before I scissor and the comb through, I should have a lot less mats to deal with. Yeah, they seem to pop right out after you kind of cut the tops off of them last time. Mm-hmm. So now I'm doing that again. You can hear the scissors yeah. chunking through them. Yeah. Put one under here. So this is my secret to fasty matting. And this is why I can have 
dogs in coat, so many of them, because these mats that they come in with, sometimes I can just get rid of really fast without pain to the dog. Right. That's the most important part. We just cut off all of this. Yeah, that's a lot. For a little six pound dog. I would use the detangling spray, but it'll soften her hair too much. It has, there's a conditioner in it, is that why? Yeah, it makes it slick, it's got mm -hmm. like silicone. So that, was that the magic spray you just used? Magic mist. Okay. Which is what, a scissoring spray? Uh, it's anti-static. I know you got mats in your toes. Yeah. You got mats in your toes. <laughs> so people who listen to me all the time know that a dog should never come to the groomer mat. Ever. And if they prevent mats. Right. If they do, they need to come more often or the haircut needs to be changed is what I always say. And he did have to, in all fairness, he had to wait about three or four weeks for an appointment. Yeah. And I wasn't taking new clients when he called, but I decided But you couldn't resist him. this. I, I get that. You're like, I'm not resisting this one. So he <laughs> just moved here and he had to find a groomer that could do a bed length and trim. And then he had to wait for an appointment, so. So she was let go a lot longer than she normally would have been. Mm-hmm. She's got really pink skin, so I'm not brushing hard at all. Very fair. Fair skin. He's okay. Mm -hmm. I know, it's, it's a hard day, isn't it? Oh, yes, it's a hard day for little doggy. Yeah, it's okay. She's got mats between her toes, she so does I have to have dig in there. Yeah, and they, they always mind that. It's all right, honey. It's okay. I got you. You'll feel much better when they're gone. You've been walking on a pile of matted hair. It's all right. I got you. She's almost kind of grayish, like a bell, dead length. Of... Yeah, well, look at her dark skin here, but it's real light pink there. She really is going to pull this off quite nicely. <laughs> so even though I'm digging in here, I've got my clipper, so I'm barely hanging on to it. Really light touch. Because you don't want to jab your clipper in there because you'll cut between the toes. You could cut. And draw blood, for sure, and the pads of the feet with a clipper. So your touch is so, so light. And you notice I pick, pick, pick. Mm -hmm. I don't, you know. Get in there and expect once and done. I get into your toenails. So maybe we can get a close-up of how I do the toenails. So she's still got some mats in between her toes and on top of her feet. I'm knocking all this off to try to minimize how much we do mat. This is very considerate of you, Suzanne, for the dog's sake. Yeah, I don't like to hurt them. If I have to hurt them, I'll opt out of doing them. Yeah. So now I can go in here and brush between the toes and get these mats out. So by knocking off the top half of those mats over and over again, you just further and further unlock the mat itself. In here. So you can hear the mats. Mm -hmm. He's okay. The brush is grabbing them. And sometimes you can just go snip them out mm -hmm. and not worry about the haircut being perfect. Agreed.
even if it is for a video. Yeah, well, it's still a pet trim, and we're still trying to make the pet as comfortable during the groom, too, so she doesn't decide for her first time of being groomed by Suzanne that it's not fun. Yes, we want it to be fun. <laughs> Go in between the toes and look for the mats this time before I even start. The front feet were the worst of it, weren't they? Mm hmm Looks like she might chew bones or something and have yeah. the bone laying on her feet and her upper legs. Yeah. Most of them were right where she would chew a bone. Sometimes dogs get like little greenies and stuff and yep. they get kind of sticky. And then it gunks up in the coat. <laughs> she ain't being nice about it. She is. There. There's one. It's an itty bitty little thing, mm -hmm. but it's got to go. There we go. See this one? Oh, that one's good. I'm just going to knock some more of his feet off. So you notice I do things completely different when I've got mats to deal with. With the bed Lington, I could just start scissoring. Yeah. And with this, I'm scissoring and dematting at the same yeah. time. Yeah. Which is nice. Instead of just completely dematting her and putting her through more than she has to be through. Because you're kind of scissoring some of that off at the same time, which makes a demat quicker. I think so. And I think it's far more comfortable. A lot yeah. of people feel like they have to get it all out before the bath. Yeah. And I don't, ever. Well, this is just proof that you can work it out this way. So that's kind of nice to see. Let's see. I'm just going in there and just keep knocking off the top of them. Yeah. see if we can comb her out. I think we can now. It's okay, baby. <laughs> She's like, oh, this is kind of scary. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if I like this. So you see where the nail has the drop off here underneath. Uh -huh. So I take the bottom of the nail clipper there and I angle back this way. So see how that has a sharp point now? Yep. And then you, you bring that, you file that up from the underneath with mm -hmm. the Dremel. What if you were just trimming it with a nail instead of using the Dremel for the other I'd part? I'd still do the same thing and use a handheld nail file. Okay. Because this part's crumbly. Yeah. It, it falls apart I know easy. what I mean. Okay. It's okay, honey. It's all right. It's okay, honey. I'm not going to hurt you, I promise. I promise. I can't wait to try this. It's especially helpful on black nails. Yeah. This is how I can do nails all day live. Yeah, without saying, excuse me, while I go get my stuffy powder. <laughs> Even these where there's hardly anything, I can still angle up over it. It's okay. It's okay. Come here, honey. It's okay. Good girl. Not taking much because they're yeah. quicks all the way down there at the end. It's okay, girl. You don't like that, do you? It's all right, little girl. Oh, no. Oh, that's... The other two, you said they were coming around 3.30? Yeah. Are you guys having fun? Yeah, I love the way this haircut's coming together. It's really cute. It's giving me 
some ideas when I get home and some of the dogs that <laughs> you better be behaving King some of the dogs that I grew I'm thinking oh maybe I could talk the owner into this so I'll take a few pictures of Corazon so I can show some of my Maltese owners and see if maybe they let me try it hi Ashley isn't this the cutest trim I am having a great time. I sure am. Hello from the UK, man. Good to see you, honey. Good to see you. Uncle Sam's niece. I say he's down on my face. Hey. Hello, Rochelle. <laughs> How long am I staying at Suzanne's? Patty, probably, um, what was it, 3.30? A little while yet. I had a pretty good drive back to Tampa, and it was very, um, crowded at times on the highway, so I didn't like that. Especially around Orlando and stuff with the, with all the parks. But I'll stay for a while. I'll stay after, after um, this little girl is, is groomed. And then maybe um, we'll see what, what the next groom has in store. So, yeah. I'll stick around a little bit. Yeah, let me go put the noisy people in the back. Okay. What do we got? Yeah, I love to hold her. You like me. Oh, yeah. Oh, she so Come here often. thinking about making a run for it, but then I realized, this is live, I'll probably get caught. <laughs> yeah, she likes this better. Nope. She doesn't like those nails messed with, does she? No. Yeah. I love this anchor. I bought this Suzanne, and I love it. I have your harness. You sent it to me, and I love the harness. Um, but that anchor is really nice. I think everybody should have that. You really need it for when you have situations like this where yep. you're fighting. Yeah. It helps. And it, it helps them to understand that they can't they can't really fight about it anymore. You know, they, they kind of sometimes just give in. They're like, ah, oh, okay. And it teaches a muscle memory of where they're supposed to be. Well, that's true. I'm going to put in each... Baby, comb everything in place all over. As we can see, she's got really short, very sparse, uh, thin hair in there. Hmm. I'm gonna go back over the purple before. So now I used a 10 earlier. I'm going to go back over this with a 30. Just kind of edge it all out. Get all this clipper work tight. pink in there. That's the year that was guppy too, mm -hmm. wasn't it? Probably good allergies. Yeah. Now I'm going to bring it up to a 40 and just carve out around this. Just really show off that outline there, huh? Mm-hmm. Back to a 10. You've got meaty little cheeks. <laughs> <laughs> Not poodly, huh? Not at all.
No fat cheeks. Sorry, I can't keep my hand out of your way. No, don't worry about it. It's hard with the little bitty dogs because it's like our arms and our cameras are bigger than they are. We're lifting up the lip and getting in the flu all the way out to the end of the mouth. Stay, 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 stay. Of course, she's, she's not used to that. She's probably never had that done. She didn't look like she had. Yeah, she had hair. She had a lot of beard hair going mm -hmm. on there. She's like, why are you shaving my lips? Oh, and your little tail's gonna be so stinking cute. I'm not gonna take this as exaggerated as the Bedlington. I'm just gonna carve out just a tiny bit. Put a wood on her ear. I'm getting out of your coffee. I know. <laughs> My people who watch me know this. They sit there and tell me, have you eaten? Yes, did you right. drink that coffee you uh, made yeah. a little while ago? And what did you bring to eat? Did you bring anything with you today? Oh, I did. Good. Well, when you want to eat, I have snacks too. So if you're hungry, you just eat. So she has a level top line. She's not a Bedlington. So we got to create that top line for her. This is where it really gets crafty. <laughs> and she doesn't have that thick of a coat to work with. So we're just gonna, and she's missing hair here. Where did that hair go? I didn't take that off. Well, we're gonna pretend it's there. <laughs> See, we're magicians. We make hair come available. All right. It's okay. It's okay, girly. So I'm angling her up. And I'm going to start angling down. And I'm using Amy's beautiful shears. Hmm. This coat's a little different than the Bedlington, isn't it? It's coarser. How are the shears grabbing a hold of it? Real good. Are they? They're nice. I'm going to use them a lot. Good. I'm glad you like them. They See, I was looking for a cheaper... Cheaper in the sense of like my Jaguar Golds were like five hundred dollars. Oh yeah, definitely. Because even though I have a really good blade sharpener, mm -hmm. it seems like it's like three hundred and fifty dollars every time she comes out. And For scissors, and do you have your blades sharpened or no? I toss them. I do too. I don't sharpen them anymore for years. I'm like, that's not worth it. When my scissors don't, because it's so expensive to have her come out, I'm just gonna buy new scissors. Yeah. I just use less expensive scissors. Yeah. Because For a lot of the everyday work. In a three-month period, I can buy three new scissors. Yeah. You know, in the same amount that I'm paying her. That's true. I just retire these to other drop Right. Drops. So I took her neck up to the high point. Now I'm dropping it straight back down to the nose. So you come up to the high point of the top knot and then go down towards the nose. So yeah, that like is the, the highest point. Yeah, the I stretch the head forward yeah. th this way. Her eyes are adorable. I'm going to bring all this in all the way. almost like a mohawk and he's probably going to want hair out in front of her eyes instead of going true bedlington with her i think i'm going to do a little fusion mustache her eyes are beautiful i think if he sees her eyes he probably would like that wouldn't he so i'm going to carve out an asian fusion yeah. type of mustache and yet still keep the hair in between for the bedlington yeah, okay. look from yes. the side just getting a little creative with Oh, her. I like that. Because with a fusion type trim, we shave off the chin anyway. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to have it so it comes down like this. But then I'm going to pull that back. And I'm going to do a fusion face. So we're just going to angle her up here. This will give her her own little character. It will. It's kind of like her own little trim, her own look. I like it. Which is what you always do with mixed breeds. Yeah. That's what's fun about it. She was already missing some hair in between her eyes, and she's got really cute little eyes. 
And a true Bedlington trim, you don't see the eyes at all from the front. But she's a little mixed breed. And as I was working on her face, I'm like, that would look really cute with a little <laughs> fusion mustache. So I'm kind of half making it fusion and half Bedlington. It's her own style. So when I comb it up and back, we're going to see her eyes. But when I comb this down, we're going to see Bedlington from the side. Yeah. I should not have taken those noisy dogs today. She's got such a short nose. She does. So what I are you going to do her, here? I want her to have big, pretty tassels. So I'm just going to snip them off at the bottom. So mm -hmm. her tassels will be a little longer than her, than typically like to the tip of the nose. Yeah. Because she's got such a short face, she wouldn't have any she tassels does. left. You are cute. Cora she likes getting pretty, doesn't she? I think she loves the scissor work. So she still looks kind of poodly here. I don't like that from the side. Oh, I see what you mean. So I'm going to take her up tighter back here. And tighter in here. really nice she's gonna look like a totally different dog than when she came in I'm uh, I'm excited just for the owner to see this and uh, even if somebody has attempted a Bedlington trim on her which it didn't look like it it was nothing like this it's gonna be like holy smokes she's gonna be shocked So stinking cute. She, is, she's, she loves the scissor work. <laughs> she does. Look at her. She's like, this is me. Yes. I'm a star. Aww. She says, I'm a star now. You have the jackpot with her. Good thing that you took her. I know, right? That's why I hate You're not gonna, taking new pants. I know. So even though I went over it with the blade before the bath, I'm not doing that after the bath. I think it would... It would show... It would mess up. It would look like choppy or something. Mm -hmm. I just... I wouldn't have control over where everything goes. Yeah. In a sense, with this kind of hair. It's a lot thinner than I first thought it was. Yeah, I all agree with that, too. When I saw her matted, I thought... Oh, it looked really thick it and did. silky like <laughs> and then it came out all coarse and thin yeah. weird so that's called a low set hawk uh, or is that again? well let down well let down hawk <laughs> well we let down okay that's what they call it in terriers, anyway. Well, that makes terriers sense. have terms like well-knit body, you know, and well-let-down hawk. They have their own little terms. Yeah. She's too pointed. I don't want you to look like a cone head. <laughs>
It's okay. I got you. She's like, what are you doing to me? Look at the image over there. She's starting to look like a little bedlington. Oh, she does. Absolutely. Great profile, kiddo. She's like, yeah, I'm cool. <laughs> I love this trim on her. It really looks super cool. Stand. Uh-uh. You're getting tired. So this kind of trim, and all in all, really has to be hand scissored because of all the shapes. Yeah, it does. Yeah, definitely. Or if you were going to do it with a blade, I would say you would just use a snap-on comb to set the all-over length and then cut in the angles. Mm-hmm. With scissors, you'd cut in the angles after you used a snap-on comb to set, like, everything. Oh, that's true. All over. Yeah. You just leave it a little longer so that you could have something to work with. You need a nap. Okay. She's getting tired. Who needs a nap? It's so cute. You really are. She's like, I'm tired. Look at that. Look at that face. So sweet. Of course, Oh, Are you the sweetest thing ever? <laughs> you are. You're a sweet baby. There we go. She loves to be scissored. She really does. She mm -hmm. likes this. But I think it's the poodle in her. Oh, my goodness. Mm -hmm. You're too cute. She is. She really is cute. Your daddy's going to be tickled with you. When I saw you come in, I did not think you would turn <laughs> out like this, honey. I did not think this would turn out so wonderful. Amy's like, okay, we got a challenge here, guys. That's right. I did. I was like, oh, this is going to be good. I'm so glad I'm filming this. <laughs> this I love gonna these good. makeovers. Oh, yeah. I mean, this is this is really satisfying, especially, you know, for you. And these scissors are so balanced. You have so much control. Even when you're doing really tight work like this. Yeah. They're a heavy scissor, but the they are heavy heavier. falls in the front where you can have balance. You can see when you go, like a lot of these. Instead of it falling forward. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And a lot of these bigger scissors don't have this smoothness. They kind of pop. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you've ever noticed yeah, Some I, scissors, they just have this popping action yeah. when they get down to here. And these just hold smooth. They they smooth. They don't pop out. Really nice for a level one shear. You know, to, nice. to have that, that, you know, because most of my level one shears, which is the majority of the shears in my graveyard, I used them a couple times and didn't like them because mm -hmm. of the balance. I've got ribbon scissors over there that... I tried them a couple times and I just don't like the way they feel, but I yeah. like the way these feel. I, I, it's good to hear that. Is Rochelle a groomer? No. She just loves to watch. She does. She's very sweet. Oh, I know she's in. She's in a lot of your streams. She is. Hi, Rochelle. <laughs> we love Rochelle. Mm. It's so nice to have a community of awesome people. I know. Of course, you should know you have awesome I do. people. I have very awesome people in my community. I love my people. They are my family. You know, it's really interesting how dog people can be so sweet. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, then there's, there are some dog people that are off their rockers. Yeah, I know. <laughs> That's why you don't see me in Facebook groups anymore. Yeah. I can't do Facebook yeah. groups. Yeah. And that's, that's one thing that I'll say about our Facebook group. They are so kind to each other, and they are so helpful, and 
they've built great friendships. I think with home groomers and yeah. younger or new learning groomers, you don't have that that you don't have attitude. That arrogance. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, and and the you know the the more arrogant groomers, they they really don't choose to be in my group because exactly. you know my group isn't good enough. Mine either because <laughs> I tell the truth. Yeah, exactly. I have a lot to say. And and we shouldn't be helping people learn to do, groom dogs safely and effectively. You know, we should not give away those secrets. Well, too bad, too late, so sorry. <laughs> My clients take amazing care of their dogs because I teach them how. Yeah. And if I don't teach them how, how they, are they going to learn? That, well, that's right. You can't imagine how many people say nobody ever told me that before nobody ever showed me how to use the comb after yeah. the bath before yes all right so she's taking shape she is she, she looks, looks a little choppy because she's got this really thin coat with these Good different girl. layers so Good we really girl. can't bring out that smoothness with her oh. like we could the other one. Oh, she looks fantastic this is the perfect trim for her it's not the same as the bedlington coat <laughs> Take a bow, baby. <laughs> Good girl. <laughs> no, they should have named you Diva. She says, I am a Diva. <laughs> so, I don't like how sharp this is coming in here. You mm. want it to be more of a yeah. swoop. So, we're going to drop this in and smooth it out a little bit. So Are they cutting right? Yeah. This is good. I get to see how these work because mm -hmm. I need a good brand of chunkers. And they had the same one, just uh, not with without being curved. They have the same chunker. I think that's a 20 tooth. 20 or 20. No, it's like a 26 tooth. So I'm seven inch. this up tighter behind here. Yeah, they cut nice. Do they? Because I saw some kind of home lines on them and it worried me. Uh, like when you... I'll show you afterwards. And I was kind of like, oh, is this going to be a problem? I just want more of a natural flow Swoosh here. Swoosh there. Sorry, girl. Oh, God, she's... I think that about does it for her. I am a certified professional pet groomer since 2003. I am also a content creator on YouTube. I have a YouTube channel called Go Groomer, and on that channel, I bring a new voice to the pet grooming industry, one that includes pet owners as a valuable consumer. By sharing my secrets of the pet grooming industry on my YouTube channel, it allows me to give pet owners the opportunity to provide quality care for their beloved pets at home, increasing value to their pets' lives, as well as increasing the bond they share with their pet. It's pretty awesome.